Leviathan here. Today I'm gonna talk about the five reasons why the McLaren 650S is better than a Lamborghini Murcielago Roadster. Ugh. Dude, how do you drive like this? It's like my feet aren't even straight. It's like to the left and you can't even see outside. What about the roof and the doors? I can't even get out of this car, man. Yeah, it sucks. Impractical. I know this may sound like a bit of a ridiculous comparison, but these cars aren't too different. They both have crazy doors. They both have similar performance. They both cost around the same, but still, if I was gonna buy a supercar, I'd still go with the McLaren 650S. And here are the five reasons why. Reason number one, the roof. Not only is it a ridiculous process to install and remove, but you also can't drive over 160 kilometers an hour with the roof on. Can you believe that a Lamborghini would actually have limits when it comes to top speed? Reason number two, the doors. Well, the McLaren just does it a lot better. The doors in the McLaren open up and out, so it really adds to a dramatic presence, versus the Lamborghini doors just go straight up, and they just no longer have the same road presence. In fact, it looks a little bit douchey. Reason number three, the driving position. This driving position is hideous. My feet aren't even centered, it's slightly to the left. I have absolutely no visibility in this car, and it's just not a car I can drive over and over again. Reason number four, believe it or not, is the soundtrack. Yes, it sounds incredible, but after a while, it does get very, very annoying, especially when you're in an age like mine. I like the McLaren because it has a very dynamic soundtrack. It's quiet and sensible when you need it to be, and loud and aggressive when you drive the car hard, but the Lamborghini Murcielago is just extremely loud. And finally, reason number five is just the overall driving experience. And the Lamborghini Murcielago is great for that one occasion where you just want to drive open road. But it's only that one occasion where the car is great. It's horrible on a track. It's horrible in traffic. It's horrible city driving. It's horrible through the turns. It's just not a car that you can drive in every single occasion. And that's really why I think the McLaren wins. Don't get me wrong, the Lamborghini Murcielago is an incredible car for that one occasion you do want to drive it. Thanks for watching. Until next time.